Hello, Bees Bladers. Welcome back and welcome newcomers to the channel. We're gonna check out brand new knives from Kaiser. It's gonna be quick, so you better buckle up, Buttercup. That's all gonna start right now. This is the Kaiser Kobold 2.0. Oh yeah, check it out. Right there with some texture vision for you. This is some of Kaiser's beautiful fluffy micarta. It is so nice. And look at this. Look, looky, looky. <laughs> it has milling in the scales that matches the milling at the top of the blade. That is a very nice touch. And check this out. We have some jimping, dig -a -dig -a -dig -a -dig -a -dig, jimping in a micarta backspacer. That is very, very cool. Which leads us around to, yep, would you look at it? They got us an inset pin for your lanyard. All you lanyard lovers, you're still good to go. Gives the, the show side a nice clean look. However, you don't get a reversible pocket clip. The reversible, it isn't reversible. <laughs> the clip doesn't have any screws or mushrooms growing in the shade. It is flat. It would be a little bit nicer maybe if it was inset into the scales. A little bit fancier, but it is a nice, strong pocket clip. Kind of a different looking design for a Kaiser clip. I like it. Works well in the pocket. And this is a Sebastian Irwin design. I believe it's how you say his name. And then there's a couple ways we can deploy it. First, we're going to try the front flip. Pow! Right in the kisser. <laughs> oh, yeah. Check it out. Would you look at that? Mama. Now, that is my kind of blade right there. Kind of a modified Warncliffe. Ooh, it's wicked looking. And we're going to see how well we can use this thumb hole. It is nice. It is not sharp. We'll see if it has enough grabby to reverse flick and everything else we want. 154 CM blade steel. Not a ton of room to sharpen after the plunge grind there. That could be uh, maybe improved just a little bit. But wow, that is a sweet looking blade. Now the ergos, you know the size of my hand. And I'll tell you real quick, from here to here is four inches. From here to here is three and a half. And from that first line... <laughs> <laughs> From that first line to the tip of my middle finger is seven and a quarter. So, oh yeah, it is very, very comfy. Oh, so comfy. That's Goldilocks comfy. I can feel the pocket clip, but it is not a hot spot. It's not even a warm spot. I could just tell it's there. More than anything, I can feel this top edge of the micarta where it's a little 90 degree-ish, a little abrupt. So, ooh, ooh, yeah, and look at this. You can choke up because there's no there's no back flipper. So you could get right up there next to, ooh, yeah, get in it to win it. Very nice. Now, the jimping, um, the limp, the jimping, <laughs> the jimping is limping. It leaves some to be desired. They, they uh, skipped on the jimps. The jimping doesn't go very far into the metal, so it's not grabbing my thumb. So the, the jimping's not serving a purpose for me personally because I hold my hand out. But like this, that is a very comfortable grip. You're going to be able to do utility cuts with this all day long. And now let's check out the action. Drop shutty. Ooh, and it's snappy. Drop shutty, very snappy, and it doesn't feel like it has the strongest detent. Let's check that out. Yep, it comes flying out. So that I, you could consider that a way to deploy it. The reverse flick is very nice. Can we do it with our thumb? Yes, we can do it with our thumb. So, and slow roll. And here's a look at your detent. It could, it could go for a little bit more in the detent department. It's very comfortable. I like it. It's, man, it's a nice long blade. Look at that. Woo hoo. And I'll put links in the description where you can go check these out. I'm not sure if they're up for sale where they are, but I will have links where you can go check them out. This is the Kaiser Sparrow. <laughs> oh, yeah. Some more of that beautiful, oh, oh, I love that micarta. This is a Vincent Rizzo design, and these are by Blackbird Blades. Ooh, yeah. Would you look at it? Big old spot for a lanyard. You can put a lanyard through there. You can put a rope through that puppy. And it has a strong mi a micro clip. <laughs> it it's a microchip. It has a strong back clip. And uh, yeah, it's good. It's going to be good. There's no mushrooms growing in the shade. It's sitting on top of the scales, similar to the last one. And it is centered. And let's check out the blade. Ready? Pow! Right in the kisser. Ooh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Now, this is my style. Another Worn Cliffy Sheep's Footy Hybrid Type Blade. Nice looking stone wash. This one's 154 CM, baby. That's what I'm talking about. This one here, uh, not a ton of root. You can see the plunge grind ends right down there where you're sharpening. And then look at over here. There you go. Blackbird Blades. Very nice. No question what knife this is. But here's a, here's a little up close look at your micarta. It looks so good. 
feels good. How does it feel in the hand? So this is a smaller knife. You know the size of my hand. It fit, my hand does have a full purchase on it. I would say if you have a medium sized hand, this knife would really, really fit the bill. Now, it, it, sometimes I like to carry a little smaller knife, but when a knife is kind of small for you, sometimes the pocket clip will make itself known. So when I'm gripping this in this fashion right here, like I'm really pushing and getting into it, the pocket clip is kind of hot, hotty spotty just a little bit. It's digging into my hand. I'll show you right here. A little bit right there. So I would say if you have maybe small to medium or medium size hands, this is going to fit you like a glove. And the action... Oh, typical Kaiser action, super snappy. It has a good, oh yeah, it has a really good detent. And the jimping up here is just grabby enough. Um, I wouldn't mind a one more jimp up there, but the push button and here's the light switch. Oh yeah, very nice. A little bit of flick your bick. Oh yeah, this is, this is nice. Now that, that pocket clip sticking out does give you a nice handle for uh, maneuvering and using the knife. But yes, this is a nice one. Now, check this out. There's two versions. Now, that one has the black stone wash. This one, check this out. Now, this looks kind of like PVD coating. It, it kind of looks in between PVD and a really deep black stone wash. But I do know for a fact that these lines right here are not painted on. These are laser etched. It does kind of give it a mean look. Check it out. I mean, would you look at it? That is pretty wicked. Um, you know, sometimes I don't like things on the blades, but this is kind of neat. I kind of like it. Kind of on the... <laughs> <laughs> kind of on the fence about it. So if you like that little addition of the laser etching on there and this one, oh yeah, very nice. Ooh, this one even has a stronger detent. So if you like a strong detent and want a little bit smaller to medium, kind of medium sized knife, there you go. Now you all saw the premium version of the clairvoyant when in my last Kaiser video, and you could go check that out if you want to learn more about the clairvoyant. Well, this is the premium version with S35VN and titanium. It's a button lock, very smooth. I've done a short and it's in the long form. It's very nice. And here is a budget version. This is the Kaiser Clairvoyant and all its clairvoyantness. And this has that kind of uh, rugged look in micarta. Now, it looks good, but I will tell you, it is smooth to the touch. It's about a one on the on the roughness scale. And on the back here, you have the matching half half length backspacer. Very nice. You have a place back here for your lanyard hole for all you lanyard lovers. Look at that. Check this out. Pow! Ooh, it has such good acoustics. This knife operates so well. <laughs> I'm talking like a robot, uh, but yes, the action on it is good. The detent on it is good too. It's holding the knife down. Now, if I give it a fling, I have to really give it a, a big fling to get it to come out. So the detent is better on this one than on the Kobold we looked at first. It's very comfortable in the hand. The ergonomics are superb. You can hold it like this. Do some big time mulch slashing if you want to slash open some bags of mulch when you're working in the in the flower garden. Yes, very nice. Multiple deployments. You have the thumb studs. The thumb studs have, you have plenty of access to these. And all these knives I've shown you so far, um, the other ones have really good access to the liners. This one, obviously it's a button lock, so you don't have to worry about access to that. I do like this brass bolster look. So there's this one. And then here's the premium version. They both look fantastic. That would be a matter kind of, of preference of materials and what you look or what you like to look at. <laughs> Now the jimping on this one, this is the kind of jimping that, yeah, now we're in that good jimp jimp territory. They did not skimp on the jimps. It's grabby, locks my thumb into place. I really do like this knife. It's kind of in between a gentleman and a, yeah, let's go ahead and do some work knife. I really like this one. This is the Kaiser K-Box. Would you look at that? I mean, just look at it. It's by Jonathan Styles, and I tell you what, it is kind of stylish. Look at this. It has a D2 blade steel with a very nice stone wash on it very clean and it has look at this they're just pumping out that beautiful micarta and it has a rope hole but you can also i'll show you there's another good purpose for this it's easy makes it easy to pull out of this very nice kydex sheath that you could carry on your belt either direction so if you carry this on your belt like this and i'm not going to do it just for the sake of not hurting myself but if this is on your belt say you have an appendix carry all you have to do is put your finger in here and you are deployed, and you're ready to open up some aggressive bags of mulch. 
or some big aggressive bags of chocolate chip cookies. You can just swing and then nom, 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 nom. But no, really, I like to have some fun. We always like to have fun here on the channel. By the way, don't forget to say, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell button. Make sure you show up Friday nights, Bees Blades live at the Hive. All right. Because if you ever have questions about the knives, we have the knife cam. We do size comparisons. We check them out. We can look at them closer, answer any questions, anything like that. Now, the ergos on this, very, very nice. They are comfortable. They skipped on the jimps just a little bit. The jimps don't go very deep. Uh, the jimping on this is a little bit better than one of them that we looked at, but it's not locking my hand into place for any, any uh, purpose. But man, it is comfortable. And this would be one you could definitely tie to something if you're camping or hunting or anything like that. The Kydex sheath has a nice thumb ramp and it is in there very well. And I did give it the old shaky, shaky, shake, and it, it's not coming out. It's not going to fall out. So if you have this attached to a backpack or something like that, upside down, or maybe on your on your person, it is in there very well. So this is the Kobax. I like it a lot. This is the Kaiser Elgon. <laughs> oh, yeah. Now that is pretty, pretty wicked looking. Check out this blade. Stonewash D2. I kind of like the shape. The shape of this kind of reminds me of the Grimsma Norseman just a little bit. And coming down here, the plunge grind goes right to that, right to the heel. So, uh, you know, you can take that or leave it however you want. That's not a big enough toil to put your finger in unless you have some really bitty, bitty, bitty fingers. And oh my goodness, I got to give you one more look at that beautiful micarta. It is so nice. You can put a rope through that puppy, big old lanyard hole. Nice and simple. That's the thing about fixed blades. They are what they are. Not a bunch of moving parts. It's the Elgon Styles Design. The ergonomics on this one are butter. Butter. <laughs> oh my goodness, it feels really good. Now the jimping on this one does help lock my thumb in a little more, just a little bit more. This one, I could really, I just, that's that's what feels natural. Like I'm going to be doing some slicing with this bad boy or doing some push cutting. And I like edges like this for when I have to do some scraping. I love that. You could use this for work or, you know, whatever. Tactical cookie bags. It's, yep, there you go. The reverse grip is just as comfortable. I like it. It feels good in the hand. The Kaiser Elgon. So I hope you enjoyed checking out these brand new Kaiser knives with me. It is always a pleasure to let you know what's out and what's coming out and what just came out. So go watch this video. You're really going to enjoy that. And remember, live life in the present. Keep a Band-Aid handy. And don't cut yourself.